In a quiet corner of the world, where dense forests embraced the land and mountains stood as sentinels, there lay a wilderness untouched by the clamor of civilization. Here, a biologist named Emma found herself drawn to the mysterious symphony of the wolves. The silent symphony of the wolves, as the locals called it, was a legend that echoed through the generations, captivating the hearts of those who dared to venture into the heart of the forest. Emma, armed with a passion for wildlife and an insatiable curiosity, arrived in the small town nestled at the edge of the woods. Whispers of the silent symphony had reached her ears during her studies, and now she sought to unravel the enigma that surrounded it. The townsfolk, reserved and cautious, shared tales of a hauntingly beautiful melody that echoed through the moonlit nights, an ethereal serenade carried by the unseen hands of the wolves. As Emma prepared for her journey into the heart of the wilderness, she was met with warnings and tales of the silent symphony's elusiveness. Locals spoke of previous attempts to uncover the secret, only to be met with an eerie silence, as if the forest itself guarded the wolves' ancient ritual. Undeterred, Emma set out with her research equipment and an unyielding determination. Guided by the fading sunlight, she entered the embrace of the forest, where towering trees formed a natural cathedral, and the scent of pine and earth filled the air. The distant howls of wolves greeted her as if welcoming a kindred spirit into their domain. Days turned into nights as Emma immersed herself in the rhythms of the wilderness. She studied the behaviors of various animal species, tracked elusive creatures, and documented the flora that painted the forest floor with an array of colors. Yet, the silent symphony remained elusive, a mysterious melody that teased the edges of her perception. One moonlit night, as the stars painted the sky with their shimmering brilliance, Emma experienced a moment of profound connection. Sitting on the edge of a tranquil stream, she felt a gentle breeze carry with it the haunting echoes of distant howls. It was as if the wolves had chosen her, acknowledging her presence in their ancient domain. Buoyed by this ethereal encounter, Emma intensified her efforts. She set up observation points, strategically placed audio recording devices, and began mapping the territory where the elusive wolves were rumored to roam. Days turned into weeks, and her determination only deepened, fueled by the haunting allure of the silent symphony. One fateful night, just as the moon reached its zenith, the symphony began. The air quivered with anticipation as the first howl echoed through the trees. It was a harmonious blend of sounds, each note resonating with the next in a mysterious cadence. Emma, perched in her observation point, felt a shiver run down her spine, a mixture of awe and trepidation. The Wolf Symphony unfolded like a carefully orchestrated performance. The howls, yips, and barks interwove in a tapestry of sound that seemed to transcend the boundaries of the natural world. Emma, entranced by the beauty of this hidden ritual, struggled to comprehend the depth of the connection these creatures shared. As she meticulously recorded the symphony, Emma noticed patterns within the howls. It wasn't just random noise, there was a structured communication, a language woven into the fabric of the wolves' melody. With each passing night, she deciphered the nuances, the communal greetings, warnings of danger, and expressions of unity. Word of Emma's discoveries spread through the town, drawing the attention of both enthusiasts and skeptics. The once skeptical locals, now captivated by the tangible proof of the silent symphony, began to share their own stories and experiences with Emma. 
An elder recounted tales of ancestors who believed the wolves were the guardians of the forest, their howls a sacred vow to protect the land. As Emma delved deeper into the secrets of the silent symphony, she faced challenges that tested her resolve. A group of ambitious poachers, drawn by the allure of the mysterious wolves, threatened the delicate balance of the forest. Emma, fueled by a newfound sense of responsibility, took it upon herself to protect the creatures she had come to understand and respect. In the heart of the night, Emma confronted the poachers, armed with the knowledge of the wolves' language and an unwavering determination to preserve the sanctuary. The confrontation, shrouded in darkness, became a battle not just for the wolves but for the ancient connection between humanity and the wild. The symphony of the wolves intensified as the pack, sensing the threat, rallied together. Their howls resonated through the forest, carrying with them a message of defiance against those who sought to exploit the sacred bond they shared with the land. In a tense standoff, the wolves, guided by their silent symphony, circled the intruders, their eyes gleaming in the moonlight. The poachers, disoriented and unnerved by the primal force surrounding them, found themselves at the mercy of a power they could not comprehend. Emma, seizing the opportunity, negotiated with the poachers, urging them to abandon their quest and leave the forest unharmed. The wolves, their symphony echoing in the night, stood as guardians of the ancient pact between humanity and nature. With the departure of the poachers, a profound silence settled over the forest. The wolves, having defended their sacred realm, resumed their silent symphony, the harmonious notes echoing through the trees like a testament to the resilience of the wild. Word of the extraordinary events reached far and wide, and Emma's research not only unveiled the mysteries of the silent symphony but also ignited a global conversation about the importance of coexistence between humanity and the natural world. The forest, once a hidden sanctuary, became a symbol of the fragile harmony that could be achieved when humans approached nature with respect and understanding. As the seasons cycled through the years, Emma continued her work as a guardian of the silent symphony. The one secret ritual of the wolves became a celebrated aspect of the town's heritage, drawing ecotourists and researchers who sought to witness the enchanting connection between wolves and the wilderness. And so, the silent symphony of the wolves became a timeless tale, a story of discovery, harmony, and the enduring magic that thrives in the heart of the wild. Emma, forever intertwined with the wolves and the ancient forest, left a legacy that echoed through generations, a reminder that the silent symphony continued to play inviting those who listened with open hearts to become part of its haunting melody. The End Thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more videos.